Hey everybody and welcome to the video. This is Josh here and today we're going to be making barbecue meatloaf. This recipe has instantly become another classic for me. It's full of flavor, simple and easy to make, and most of all, I'm just an old man who loves some good comfort food. Be sure to like the video and let me know down below if you plan to give this one a try, and subscribe if you're not already. I put out new recipes every other Friday. Starting off, we're going to break apart and add in our ground chicken and pork. I like using a 50-50 ratio here if and when I can. The addition of pork makes the meatloaf really flavorful, but if you can't afford the extra calories, you can also use 100% lean ground chicken. Next, we'll add in some chopped onion, along with breadcrumbs, tomato sauce, and one beaten egg. For our spices, we'll be using salt, black pepper, smoked paprika, and garlic powder. Make sure to get your hands on the smoked paprika if you can. This really adds to the barbecue flavor. Mix all of the ingredients together thoroughly and spread them out evenly onto a non-stick sprayed 9x5 loaf pan. Now we're going to prepare our sauce to glaze our meatloaf with. In a bowl, add tomato sauce, Worcestershire, 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 <laughs> apple cider vinegar, yellow mustard, and honey. Stir everything together and pour about half the mixture over your meatloaf. We'll save the other half to glaze while the meatloaf is cooking. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and bake your meatloaf for a total of 80 minutes, rebasting with our sauce every 20 to 30 minutes or as needed. For the last 2-3 minutes we're going to put our oven in the broil setting. This will really lock in the flavor and crust from our glaze. Remove the pan from the oven to let rest, then slice, serve, and enjoy. This meatloaf really is one of the best I've ever tasted. I'm serving it up with some green beans cooked in my cast iron, but this will go well with whatever side dish you choose. The recipe yields about 8 servings, and at only 300 calories a serving, you'll definitely have to give it a go for your next dinner or meal prep. Ingredient amounts and all other info is up on the blog. Be sure to check out www.beardedfatloss.com for that. But until next time, I will talk to you all later. Have a good one.